we have all of the steps and secures and secures and security all the way through that level of quality checking, which is wonderful, but in a lot of cases, probably a bit overdone. Being the first G8 country to go legal, I think that I understand why the government did that to, to make sure that the that they weren't too far outside of a number of treaties. But Health Canada is looking to walk back a number of things in a slow and steady way. So that in June, they announced um, proposed changes to the regulations. So they, the, uh, most of them would reduce administrative burden on the companies, which is fantastic because we're competing with a legacy market that doesn't have any of that administrative burden. So for example, the way people have to have security clearance as we always have to have, like these are extensive months long background checks. We have to have people on site, how we destroy waste. Um, there are some proposals around changes to packaging because our packaging regulation is quite restrictive. I've heard that and I haven't read extensively, but you can see people's submissions on it and the, the medical associations are not happy with the idea around clear packaging and things like that. But I think that there's a lot of information that would be helpful to the consumer, in particular around dosing and stuff like that. 